welcome back to the Simmy Plumbob channel and today we're going to continue on with The Sims 4 Seasons. Oh my lord, it's finally summer. Summer is here, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. So, um, in this part, I am planning on hosting a uh, play date for Sunny and all the toddlers. So, today we're just going to spend the day traveling around, trying to greet as many toddlers as we can. And look, you guys, for the first time ever, it's not even storming on fireworks day holla freaking Luya! she's gonna have a really good birthday oh my lord okay so his birthday is the first day of winter and his birthday is the first day of spring this year or next year the first day of spring next year oh my freaking goodness <laughs> Oh my god, my babies are growing up. For these next few parts, especially after Bridget ages up to a teenager, we're not going to invite our friends over for a while. Mostly because I think it's weird that some of them are going to be teenagers and some of them are still going to be children. So we're actually going to hold off. <laughs> hold off on inviting all of, or the whole group over because when she turns into a teenager their activities are going to change and they're going to want to do something else with their time i don't think they would want to hang out at home all the time i think they would rather want to go out and hang out children can't play with this actually dang i didn't know children could don't tear up you're fine lynn she's like my baby's growing up over here Oh lord, it looked like he used his diaper while he was sleeping. <laughs> oh joy. Well, as soon as she gets done eating, we're actually going to travel around, meet all the um, toddlers that are around, and hopefully we can have a really good play date for Sunny tomorrow, because that's what I plan on doing. Uh, how many people are teenagers in the girls' orphanage? Ooh, three of them are. Yeah, this is where Ansley's been living after her... <laughs> After her second divorce, the story between the Villarils, um, Villarils and Ansley, why she got mixed up in that, um, Ansley actually knew, um, the son of the Villarils, which is Max. She actually knew Max, um, ever since they were children. She's always had a crush on Max, but, um, when she met Ken, um, she actually fell in love with him over Max because Ken was a pretty boy, you know, so, you know, she actually got together with Ken and married him, um, had two boys with him, but with Max, though, he's always been rich, and when she married the second guy, um, she confessed to being with him only only because he had money and she soon found out that that she didn't want to be with him anymore and she's just in love with max you know and hopefully this is like genuine love and not just love for his money you know but we're gonna actually get to know this toddler a little bit so like, yeah you could take my daughter but she, yeah she's she's clapped she's like yeah i would love for her to go it's like okay all right, well, I got a couple of toddlers that I'll need to go and greet and meet and whatnot, so um, thank you for allowing your daughter to come, Ansley. That means a lot. But yeah, more on Max. You know, um, his sister Luna actually owns that um, wedding boutique store, so you know, they are pretty much rich. They got enough money for anything, so I know she is happy. <laughs> All right, Ariel, I will see you tomorrow, okay, sugar booger? Bye, baby. But Ariel is actually uh, Max's daughter, and what happened between her and her second husband is that she actually did cheat on her second husband, Ansley did. <laughs> She actually did cheat on him because it's quite obvious because she actually had a daughter by Max while she was ma still married to her husband. So, yeah, connected the dots. You're like, you cheated on your husband. That's the only thing 
that makes sense in this area <laughs> so yeah we're going to actually go to the flex house his name is not going to be Nawaf. Uh, we're actually going to change his name i think his name is nolan nolan flex not Nawaf. His name is going to be Nolan, you guys, okay? So, Nolan, hi, baby. Do you want to actually come over and have a play date? He's got his mama's red hair and his daddy's skin. I wonder who he's going to look like, his mama or his daddy. Man, there's Scarlet. Hi, baby girl. I think it's cute, okay? Her name is Ginger, and she's got, like, ginger hair, and her name is Scarlet, and her hair is red also, so I think that's pretty cute how they ju they are named after um, their hair color. <laughs> I think it's cute. Yeah, yeah, I remember you when you were born. I held you. Yes, I did. I really wow. did, little girl. I held you. Super She's so pretty. Look how pretty rat. Ginger's daughter she, is. She's gorgeous. Alright, and now we're finally going home. She's like, I am tired. Yeah. Uh, I greeted all these babies. I'm tired. <laughs> so we're going home, Lynn. Don't worry. And then we're planning that play date for tomorrow. Bridget. I think she was. she's talking to him. And she's like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be into sports very much, Zachary. He's like, no. He's like, no. I'm not really. I don't really want to be a musician like my mother either. He's like, you don't? She's like, no. I'm just. I don't know what I want to do with my life dad and he's just like well you still got time to think about it kid you are talented you can do anything you set your mind to i know you can uh host a, a big party for tiny tots invite all the toddlers your little one knows for fun play and general merriment while the tykes run to and fro grill up some food and exchange parenting tips with fellow caregivers oh toddler look, look how cute that thing is toddler play date a reward event starts at 1 p.m. at my house. <gasps> Dang! <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? She got struck inside the house. There's no way. No flipping way. Struck by lightning, she said. Supercharged. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. You were inside the house. She got struck by lightning twice in her lifetime, y'all. Jeez, she was inside the house, too. But, uh, aren't you excited, Sonny? You're gonna have your very first toddler play date. Addition derision. A uh, fussy customer is complaining that their arrangements available are not contemporary enough for their tastes and requests that Zachary constructs a very specific arrangement for them. The customer's design is very ostentatious, but Zachary's boss stresses that the customer is always right. Which, what does Zachary do? Follow the customer's choice and create the custom arrangement or push traditional values in hopes of persuading the customer? Customer's choice, of course. Uh, let's start. As the saying goes, the customer is always right. Zachary followed the client's instructions exactly, even though the arrangement isn't something Zachary would normally find very appealing. The customer was quite happy with it. He just hopes he never has to make it again. <laughs> Wonder why Scarlet isn't here. Everybody but Scarlet's here. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. Look at them. Ah! Two boys and two girls. Ah! <laughs> Look how cute they are. Aww. That is cute. <laughs> I'm so glad he's got some, some toddlers here. He's actually meeting some people. I hope these four actually grow up to be friends or something. I think that'd be cute. Yay! We got gold, y'all. We did it. I'm so glad he actually came home at this time because I really wanted to have two toddlers playing here together. Our very first successful play day. I'm so happy it's successful too, y'all. I was so scared that it was going to be difficult. No one's going to have any fun. But it seems like all the toddlers are having a lot of fun. So I'm glad. Word of the legendary play date has started to spread. In fact, the fine folks in the marketing department of Bamco, esteemed maker of toddler toys, has reached out with a special influencer opportunity. They've provided their all-inclusive jungle gym set completely free of charge. You'll find that it's already been delivered to your household's inventory. All they ask is a small, tiny, little favor. Won't you please place it in... 
<laughs> in your front yard and invite all the neighbors tots over to play to help spread the good Bam Bamco name. A good play date really is fun, isn't it? Wee! <laughs> <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> and he made a new friend yep that's what happened scarlet aged up yesterday was her last day as a toddler y'all that's why she didn't come she's actually a child now she aged up oh my goodness all right you guys well i'm gonna stop this part here and thank you all so much for watching and i really hope you like this part it was such a cute part ah! But my stomach is in butterflies because in the next part, Bridget is going to be a teenager. Oh. <laughs> I hope she looks like her mama. Mama, mama, pray to the Lord. <laughs> but anyways, again, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next part. Everybody have a great day.